Okay, welcome to the April 19th update for Augmented Reality Obstacle Avoidance, uh, or AROA for short. Uh, the purpose of this prototype is to experiment with using high contrast visual cues uh, to help people with visual impairments uh, navigate around obstacles in their environment. So there's two types of cues we're going to look at today. Hide the interface here. Uh, the first one is co-located cues. So here we see co-located cues. Uh, the idea of these is that these cues are co-located with the obstacles that they represent. So here we've marked three obstacles, the table, the footstool, and the box as obstacles. Uh, and we've placed, uh, synonymous with each of them, a high contrast yellow cube. Um, and so the central idea here is that for people with uh, poor contrast enhancement, people who uh, may have trouble distinguishing obstacles from simply the background uh, or from one another, uh, these cues would help them understand when they're looking at an obstacle um, what area is occupied by the obstacle um, versus what is part of the background or the floor and is uh, free of potential navigational hurdles. Um, so as I can walk around, you'll see that these are tied in space uh, and will always appear roughly in the same location as the obstacles they represent. Um, these are currently placed manually. That's one of the things we're hoping to update in the future. Um, but you can see they're, they're highly uh, high contrast, bright yellow, easy to distinguish, um, such that if you are looking around and looking for obstacles, this will make it much easier for you to see them uh, if you have poor contrast vision. The second type of cue we're going to look at is the HUD cue, or heads up display style cue. Um, so the idea here is that for people with low peripheral vision, uh, they may not know that there is an obstacle in their path without looking directly at it. Um, and so these cues serve to hover roughly at the center of the user's vision and alert them to obstacles that might need be nearby. Um, so for example, here we have, again, the, the three obstacles that we've marked. We have a cue uh, pointing to each of those obstacles. When I look directly at the obstacle, the cue disappears. Um, but then when I look away, it shows up again uh, to always let me know that, hey, there's something over here that you might need to know about. And then finally, you can see when these two types of cues are combined, uh, you get a lot, of, a lot of cues into what obstacles are around you. Um, you see both, you know, I could be looking over here uh, it'll tell me that, oh, look, there's three obstacles that I should be aware of. And when I turn my gaze to look at them, I can see one, two, three obstacles, uh, very clearly marked. Um, even if you have very low vision uh, available to you, you should hopefully be able to, to visually identify uh, at least the location and approximate size of these obstacles. Uh, and as I walk around, there's a little bit of lag because of the video drain on the, the HoloLens capture here, but uh, you can see each of these cues kind of moves around and tells me the things that I am passing by. So that is the April 19th update. Um, next steps for this project are to uh, test these basic version of these cues with some people with visual impairments um, and get ready to uh, have a proper experimental study where we understand what types of cues are going to be best for different people with different types of vision. Uh, thanks for listening.